All right, guys, so we got a load. Uh, we're up here in Walworth, Wisconsin. Um, we have a load. We are headed to Virginia. Um, you know, probably we'll work the local stuff around the, you know, back there. There's a lot of, there's some good money back there in the short hop stuff. Um, you know, short hopping for 175 to 200 miles. Um, you know, just making a thousand to fifteen hundred. I don't know if you can tell, may not have paid enough attention, but we got us a new trailer back there, boys. We, uh, that old trailer was a reefer, old reefer unit. Um, and now this one's strictly dry van, like this is a real dry van trailer. So let's uh, go ahead. We're gonna run through the backwoods here in uh, Wisconsin, see what we find. There's the original Meekum office. I think they used to do auctions there, but not much anymore, I don't believe. Uh, which I can see why they've really outgrown that place, but. <phone rings> Hoping to stop and get a monster, but it ain't gonna happen. There's nowhere to pull off up here.
to stretch my truck back out, like move the fifth wheel back again, boy, it is so much smoother now. Big difference. I don't know what that's going to do for driving, you know, but we'll see. about eight miles seven miles and then shoot down 43 uh, if anything interesting pops up i'll come back with you all right guys this may or may not be a little situation so we're gonna try to we're gonna find out before we do it so that bridge up there is 13.9 um i just bought this trailer and my last trailer was 13.8 uh, so we're gonna find out what my height on this trailer is. Now I know I'm not car hauling, but we still got the old height stick. This here's got some sentimental value. That was a joke by the way. So, we're 13.7, we're good. That, uh, that old reefer unit had a little bump at the top there, so, she made me 13.9. Right now, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna get monster, because we don't have monsters. All right, and we're gonna get on down the road. Here we roll. Figured since we just did all that together, y'all wouldn't mind seeing me creep under the bridge because that's exactly what it's going to be. Creeper, just a creeper. Hey, get me some, some coffee, some monster. try to slow a bunch of stuff down man I'm uh, really gonna try to eat a little healthier you know I didn't didn't worry about it too much in the car hauler because always getting a workout and walking and moving and but I tell you what man here doing this I don't get nothing and I walk to the back of the trailer and maybe to the doors but it's, uh, it's not good for for a man's body. We're probably gonna have extra room considering they usually don't. Oh yeah, that's not 12.9 or 13.9, but they do that all the time, just uh, They'll say 13.9 or 13.8, it really looks like 13.5. Just because they never, uh, like 14.2, 14.5, sorry. Just because they know morons are gonna try it anyway. Oh, my trailer's 13.9, it says 13.9, I can go through there. Yeah, he just told me I had plenty. So, yep. Alright 
right, man, we're going up here. We're going to get on 4030 southbound to Beloit. And uh, like I said, we're going It's a two-stopper. They're in the same city, but um, adding a stop added $700 to my rate. So it was uh, kind of a no-brainer for me to drive across town for 700 bucks, you know? So... In one half mile, turn left. I'm gonna run it on up, run it up. Go run it up, run it up. Run it up, run it up. That just means our video finally went through. <laughs> Guys, once we uh, get 15 miles down the road to Beloit, I'll uh, turn it back on. We'll catch up together. Paces, doses. Branchton Road. At one quarter mile, turn right. Alright, so as you all know, we got a 13 speed um, connected to an N14. So now, if any of you guys know a way to quickly learn what gear you should go to when, um, like when you miss a gear. So, for example, in a uh, in my 10 speed, if I was doing 35. I should hit seventh gear. If I was doing, or eighth gear, I'm sorry. If I was doing 25, I should hit seventh, and so forth, so forth. Does anybody know any trick like that with the 13 speed? Um, just to make my learning process a little bit easier. Um, I got everything pretty much down, but the problem is if I slow down too much, you know, let's say in eighth gear and I slow down too much, I seem to have a hard time finding the gear I need to be in. So, if anybody has an answer to that, I would be greatly, greatly appreciative to y'all for a long, long time. know what y'all think about the room now that we have this uh this new visor it seems like we can see more i'm hoping that was a plan other than the fact that it was ugly um being smashed against the window all right road hammers door nine it is that one <laughs> of course it is right shouldn't be too bad though Better. We're only 
you're getting six pallets, so it should be really quick. I know that guy just pulled in, as you see. So this will be our first real dock backing with the trailer and the truck stretched. So. see what happens here uh, supposedly it's supposed to be easier this way but window fixed today that should be great not today probably tomorrow or whenever I get to a nicer area
paying them, but lately all these people, nobody lets you pay it. And then when they send you the bill, they got administrative fees on it, which cost me money. So we stopped to get one. I had to sign up online. Um, so that just means that uh, I got to pay cash for some of them, and some of them I don't. Plenty of time. Um, like I said we're only 413 miles away, and it's I don't know. It's probably 11 o'clock because we didn't stop till 3 o'clock this morning. We stopped at 2 o'clock. It's 11:55. So uh, I'm 
gonna try to get down a little ways out of the rain. I got a couple things I wanna look at on the truck and try to mess around with and fix, you know, but um, the appointment is top, top prioritized. So, all right, let's get rolling. Here, I'll let you guys hear the wind up and we'll roll on. Gratitude to Ohio for letting us run on these trashy roads they got. You know? They're gonna charge us, I don't know, probably 40 50 bucks to ride on this mess. It's a big against the law. I ain't found a road one that was worth the toll. Especially Indiana and Illinois. Tolls go up every year, but roads don't get no better. But ain't nobody care because they're not the one paying for it like we pay for it. Good, how you doing, bud? How much? 54.50. Coming across here, I paid a hundred bucks. Did they just go up this year? Yeah, I went up about two dollars and fifty cents. Two dollars and fifty cents. Goes up every year, don't it? Yeah, about a hundred. Maybe maybe the road condition to get better. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, even he looked at me like yeah, right. I don't know what's going on. We just put a brand new air dryer on this truck and it's still popping out like that. So. Life of an old truck, but that's fine. No better than a new truck, no. Y'all can have them three to five thousand dollar truck notes. Alright guys, we're uh, down here at exit 98 in Virginia. Uh, we are 46 miles from our drop. It's 9 o'clock-ish. I cannot show up till 11. Um, if you guys are driving and you don't know, all Audis are night drops. Uh, some start at 12, some start at 11. This one just happens to be 11. So, um, we're going to hang out a little bit, let the dog run around. Um, you know, we'll take off here in a little bit. Down there. Hopefully we're in and out. I told them I would be here early today. And for some reason they decided this morning to change my appointment from 11 to 2. So they set my appointments at 2 o'clock, but they said that 
Uh, I can just show up in one corner of my and home, they will uh, let me in. I don't know if let me in means unload me or just let me in the park, but we will see. I got two. Second? I got two uh, separate loads on. did this for him earlier. We took the back off and he isn't real there it is. He's not 100% comfortable with it yet, but it's easier for him to get back and forth with no seat, no back, but he still gets the cushion. Because he's a good poochie. He's a good poochie. Him's a good poochie. I'm gonna say hi to the people. No, easy. Relax. Relax. It's okay. You thirsty? You thirsty? Name, sir? Miller. Miller? Okay, yep. Mr. Miller. Uh, they have everyone going checking out door 68. 68? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Have and where done. do I park? Uh, 
I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. Okay. I'll I find really something over here. Okay, thank you. Is, hey, is 68 on the other side? I don't know. Okay. I I'll, think it is. Though. All right, I'll find it. Thank you. So, I guess me, him, and the dog, we're all new here today. It's all great. Man. We can count, so that's all that matters. For a lot of these big places, they have like a mobile app where you pay it on. They'll send you a text, you pay it. Um, everyone I've seen and I've been told that brokers are responsible, so don't let them talk you into it. Um, yeah, it looks like we screwed up, but it'll be okay. some reason they changed my appointment so it is what it is I check in at two and or check in now and uh, anything after two hours is uh, detention so if I check in now they get me in at two and get me out at four I should have two hours of detention so it's all gravy guys might have loaded today and sleep. Alright, we're going to go check it in. And, uh, we'll be back and let you know what they say and then take the dog out. Alright guys, so we got to get in that door right in front of us. Um, usually I would like to set, a, uh, set up a camera, but I do not have time right now. Uh, Last thing I want is some more on the, you know, getting 44 to hold me up, so. I'm gonna go down here and turn it around and come back and dock up. right there and it's open. There's supposed to be a truck in it. I mean, these guys go to the wrong doors and all kinds of stuff.
a horrible setup. That up killed me. I knew that as soon as I did it, so we're good with it. I am so surprised that my sh uh shortbread cookies are still standing because they were absolutely horrible. These guys are so close on these lines, it's not even funny. I didn't move it over far, near far enough, so I don't think anyway. Well, I see what they do here. So this is one of the places where apparently you, uh, I don't know what the hell they do. Now that I'm looking at it, couldn't tell you, so. We're gonna get close and probably do another pull up. Be yeah, alright with it because uh, I, I used to just back to the door and I've learned some lessons on not doing that. So I'm gonna see where I'm at up there. Zero degrees yesterday, 50 degrees today. Life of a trucker. next to me is so damn crooked. It's not even funny. So we may be damn near kissing noses by the time I'm done. So if you don't get to these doors right, depending on what you're pulling, um, you can tear up a door You do not want to do that. Doors for these things are not cheap. Alright, so when I get my uh, my lumper uh, text, I'll come back and show you guys how we do it. 
All right, guys. So, I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but that says 411. All right. So we just got the text that it's done. It says, um, welcome to Capstone, blah, blah, blah. They started your truck. When it's done, you can go and pay. Uh, now here I can go out and pay it. Still doesn't tell me how much, must use cash as checkout. 30 bucks, that's not bad. But like I said, I'll get my money back. Uh, $30, this is my carrier. Uh, ba -ba -ba. You can do Fleet One, T-Check, EFS, ComCheck, Fuel Card, Credit Card. Uh, we're gonna do my credit card. Boom, do this so much it's already on file. So y'all really didn't need to see all my my information so it says payment complete getting receipt payment received thirty dollars boom now my uh i paid my lumper fee now i can go in and get my paperwork and get out of here and uh gotta make sure that my check-in and check-out time is on there because uh 50 times folk no i'll get three hours if it says 150 bucks that i got to sleep in the bunk um we got it 11. what time did we get here oh we got we checked in 11 or 12 right so 12 we'll get two hours detention 12 to 1 1 to 2 and there, so we get two to three, three to four. I don't know about the extra 15 minutes. So, all right, let me go get my paperwork. We'll be back and we're gonna head up the road. We gotta pick up about three hours. All right, guys, so you've got to be careful. Um, and you've got to be stern. And like, I'm you know, I'm learning. And I've been, uh, these brokers and these warehouses, they have their ways to get around this detention pay um like this this loads for a bigger broker and they require the in and the out on the door or on the bol well it just so happens that if you don't ask and raise a scene they won't do it now i didn't get in there cussing yelling and screaming but they'll give you the out time on the receipt and then they'll tell you you had a two o'clock appointment you know well that doesn't mean i was here and the broker requires the in and the out time on the bol so i got her to do it this time um i was in at 12 at the door uh 120 and out at 416 so you know let's see what happens but you know nothing else i mean we still had a good load but like I said, I've had another broker. They uh, burnt me out. Of, I've been burned out of 15 hours um, by, by one broker. Um, you know, just because they had a system and the first time I learned the system, you know what I mean? So the second time when I came back, um, I got emails and I got everything where they promised me they'd do this, they'd do that, and then even with the written emails, I still haven't gotten it. So um, there are some good brokers, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm noticing the bigger the broker, the bigger the problem and the lies. You know, now not that's not all big brokers are liars, but all right, let's get back here. I'm going to go close my doors, get locked up. And uh, we'll go from there. 
Now I'm gonna go a step further and uh, I'm gonna ask my, uh, not mine, the guy up here at the gate, I'm gonna ask him if he's got my check on, check out, or check in time, because there's no reason that he should, you know what I mean? So, will he give it to me? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna find out, but I just, you know, and I make sure I take loads that are good enough that if I get screwed, I'm still making money. I still made $1,700 a day for two days. Like, I, that's cool. But my whole thing is don't promise me something that you're not going to give me, you know? guys asleep. Uh, we ain't gonna go with that right now because I don't feel like dealing with it. You know, and once I, you know, once I really threw a fit, she was able to go back there and see everything. She knew what time I came in and all that. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. Just, now, I'm, I'm not saying every time you do that, you're not gonna get that, you know, because... Uh, she just happened to be there and hear me, you know, raising a little stink because the other ladies really didn't care. They were going to let me stay in there and do whatever, but I'm not going to raise a scene like that because I'm not going to get kicked out of a shipper, you know. But I asked, you give me what I want, we're cool. You don't, okay, you win. But next time, that just means I need a little more money. Tell you what, the brakes on this new trailer are on point. Peace. 